I did not accomplish my writing or reading goals for 2020, but that is okay because I did a lot of other things and I am moving forward into 2021. A couple months ago, I did a goal setting video where I had some things I wanted to do to prepare for revisions of the book I finished drafting last year, and I said that I would do another video a few weeks later checking in on that, and I never did. I also did not accomplish those goals. The very first goal of all of that, and the easiest one, was to read through my first draft and I haven't even finished that read through. To be fair to myself, since that video I have packed up and moved and started a new job and continued to take care of my small child and I haven't even finished unpacking my new house. Those goals I set in October were just another in a long line of reading and writing goals that I didn't accomplish in 2020. I had a reading goal of 60 books, which I read less than 50 and I did not get a book query ready like I wanted to this year, but it was a busy year which I was expecting. I had a baby and finished a master's degree and got a new job and moved and it was also a hard year which I wasn't expecting. Also Animal Crossing happened. And I'm big on not dwelling on goals that don't get accomplished because you can't go back in time and change that. You can only move forward. And whenever there are goals you don't accomplish, there usually are ones that you do. I did a lot of life and career stuff this year that I'm very proud of and it's okay if I didn't read 60 books. All I can do now is set some goals for 2021 and work as hard as I can towards them. I have a lot of goals this year, some writing and reading related, a lot of them not. The first of which, which I hope will help me accomplish the others, is to be more consistent at using a planner. I got the Clever Fox Planner for Christmas, which I am really looking forward to using, and it has a lot of parts for setting and tracking your goals throughout the year, which I'm really excited about. So one of my goals is to actually use this on a daily basis to sit down, hopefully with my morning cup of coffee, and spend a few minutes just going through my to-do lists and figuring out what I need to do for the day and setting some goals and keeping all of the habits that I want to do in mind. For writing and reading goals, I want to read 50 books this year, which is about a book a week. It's a pretty conservative goal for me, but that's what I need right now. I want to revise a book this year. At the very least, I want it to be ready for beta readers by the end of the year. Hopefully I have that sooner and can have it query ready by the end of the year instead. I actually have two different projects that I'm trying to decide between for this goal. So that's gonna be the first thing I do is decide which book I wanna work on. But I'm also setting a lot of other goals that have nothing to do with writing or reading or my career as a librarian. I wanna do things like drink enough water every day, and plant a vegetable garden in my yard. I want to stay off my phone during dinner time with my family each night and spend an hour outside every weekend and bake something new every month. I want to have well-rounded goals and a well-rounded life and do things that just make me happy and enrich my life and not just have goals that are meant to push me forward in some sort of career. So those are my goals and plans for 2021. Hopefully I managed to do all of it, but even if I only accomplish one or two of those goals and halfway do some of the others, I'll still be proud of myself. Let me know what goals you are setting for the year, what you would like to accomplish. Doesn't have to be writing related, it could be anything in your life. And of course, don't forget to join us this Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time for our live chat. We hope to see you there.